Hi, welcome to the Fiber Studio. This is what you've chosen for today for showing what you understand about abstract art. And I've got a couple things going on here that I just want to review with you and show you some ideas of how you might do a piece of art today. As you know, Fibers is about working with string. It's about taking long stringy fibers and using them in interesting ways to create something that visually is exciting to look at. It might be using fabrics, it might be using strings. Fabrics are essentially strings woven together. But um, how you use those fibers becomes sort of the creative part for you, the designer. Um, I started one the other day. I'm not quite sure where it's headed. It was just some fabric shapes that I glued down and then I wanted it to look sort of inspired by the snowy day. So I took white fabric and glued that on top of the other shapes. I don't know if you can see them that are tucked underneath. And then I started, I didn't like how white it was, so I took a tissue, dipped in some paint, and I've been dabbing that on. And I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I think it looks a little bit wintry. That was my inspiration. But I think it might be kind of fun to maybe move over to the printmaking studio next time and use some string to print, like, branches on it. You know how the trees look on a, on a cold, wintry day, and they're all tangly up there? think that might finish this nicely, but I don't know. Today I just worked on gluing the fabric down um, and adding a little bit of paint. At least it gives you an idea of how you can use more than one studio to do one piece of art. Um, the other idea, this is actually how that first one started, was to start with a piece of cardboard and different shapes and colors of fabric. This one's not very far yet. I'm working on trying to build sort of a, a landscape. I think you can tell by looking at it that my inspiration came from something real, which is what we talked about with abstraction, that it starts out as something real and then becomes the artist's way of changing that into something new. So to do this kind of work, you'll use this starch. It looks like this, and you may have to go over to the sculpture studio to get it. Um, but you'll bring it back and pour a small cup of it. You paint the glue on your cardboard, then you lay your fabric or your yarn, whatever fiber you're using, on top and add another layer of the glue. It kind of gets smooshed and wet in between there. All right, so I would probably keep going. You can see it's starting to curl up. I'll have to fix that. I would probably keep going until all the white is covered up and then it would begin to look like the real world, land and sky, but it's just shapes of color that I like and I like the way I've putting them together in my composition. Uh, one way to keep it from doing this is to use the same glue and just paint a big X on the back. I don't know if you can see the X I painted there, kinda. It will help the cardboard to sort of flatten back out while I keep working on it and it won't be so bouncy. Okay, so you've seen layered fabric. Ooh, there's another one I wanna show you. Look at this one. That's an abstract work of art inspired by something what do you think? If you look closely, you saw that I was using yarn as my fiber, and I started out just by drawing, let's see, I'll put it that way so you can kind of see it. I drew some shapes on the cardboard, and then you fill in one shape at a time with a whole bunch of glue, just like a, not a puddle, but completely covered with glue, wet glue. And then you just find the color you want to use as if this is your paint, and you start to lay it inside the shape. You're going to get very sticky fingers doing this, but it's kind of cool in the end. I don't have glue on here for real, so it's not really sticking. If you look closely, you'll see what I mean. See how the yarn wraps around a shape and becomes part of the texture. I'm thinking to finish this, I might add some beads that would be like bubbles in my abstraction of... Ooh, now you know what I was thinking. I was thinking of like a pond or water and ripples on the water. doesn't look like a pond, but it is an abstraction of water in a pond. Okay, these things will all be in your idea boxes here on your table. Please take a minute with your friends to get them out, look at them, and make your plan for the day. Um, what else do you need to know to get started? Check your green card, check the idea boxes, look at some famous works of art that have done the similar kind of idea where they've used abstraction with fibers, and get your stuff. And get started. Get everything out. If you have a question, write your name on the poll. If you want a conference, I'll come over and see what you're doing, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. I think that's it. Have fun. Good luck.
I hope you create an abstract fiber piece today.